Sister Wives How Robin used her kids to destroy Brown family. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S gossip channel. Most Sister Wives fans aren't at all fond of Robin Brown. But did she really use her children as weapons to sabotage the Brown family? That's one theory fans recently proposed. The Brown family existed as a polygamous family unit long before Robin Brown entered the scene. However, she did disrupt several decades of a mostly peaceful living situation. But did she do it all on purpose? Robin was horrible from the beginning, a Sister Wives viewer wrote on Reddit. Watching a show from S1, Robin was complaining to the other parents that she had to get her kids integrated into the family very fast. She explained that Dayton would be 13 in a year, and at that time a judge would let him live where he wanted to. So she only had a year to integrate her kids into Cody's family or her kids would choose their father. The op went on to say they felt Robin acted incredibly conniving here. They felt she was worried her kids might want to live with their biological father. The op thought Robin wanted to ensure Cody was at her house all the time so he could bond with the children. By hogging Cody's time and keeping the kids separate, of course Robin's kids never integrated with the other kids. It was never about integrating her kids into the family, it was about monopolizing. Cody and keeping him to herself, the op concluded. Redditors overwhelmingly agree Robin Brown staged everything on purpose. Other Redditors shared similar feelings. After 19 seasons, viewers could point to several instances of Robin Brown behaving poorly and using her children to excuse everything. Comments included. The use of her nanny while complaining about her kids feeling separate is so wild to me. It shows how she victimizes herself and has no self-awareness. The other. Kids are closer because they were raised as siblings. To me, it feels like she didn't understand why the wives were choosing their children over the bigger picture but she weaponized her kids every chance she got. That was my opinion too from the beginning. I actually said, I guess this is a show about how it takes one person to destroy what many built and it is. Sister Wives star Cody Brown might be forced to lay his psychological cards on the table during his custody. Battle with Christine Woolley there is a chance that he would have to show his psychological profile in court to prove his point and win the battle. Hence, this court battle would end up exposing Cody and everything he has been concealing over the years. But that's not all, as there is a lot more to the story. What is this all about? Will Cody agree to present his psychological profile? Why are these reports necessary in court? Sister Wives star Christine Woolley is finally doing what she should have done in 2021 during her split. She has dragged Cody Brown to court. And she is finally asking him to pay child support for their shared daughter, Truly Brown. The celeb further requested the court make Cody take a paternity test before things proceed, as his name isn't on the star kid's birth certificate. Christine wants not only child support from Cody but also a proper visiting schedule. Hence, the court will now decide who gets Truly's custody, and things will be done legally. Cody has also lawyered up and is all set to fight back in court against Christine. But it appears that the celeb would have to prove a lot of things in order to win this legal battle. Sister Wives, will Cody Brown agree to present his psychological profile in the court? Sister Wives star Christine filed a petition to secure her daughter's future and is willing to do anything and everything to win the battle. A Reddit thread recently discussed this matter, and revealed that such custody battles usually require both parties to present their psychological profiles in court. They would have to consult a psychologist and submit their reports in court. The op wondered if courts in Utah also worked in the same manner and if Cody would also have to present his psychological profile. Though it wouldn't be for the public view, it would surely change the air of the custody battle. Several users admitted that it would be the best part as a lot could come out with this near psychological report, and fans would get a chance to know why Cody behaves in a certain manner. However, a Utah resident confirmed that submitting a psychological profile wasn't mandatory in Utah. But the judge could surely order it, and either of the parties could end up requesting it. Hence, viewers encouraged Christine to apply a plea for this and expose Cody in court. A fan even claimed that Christine should request the court to make Cody take a urine test as well. 
This would reveal whether he was on steroids or any kind of drugs or not. Amid all this, viewers are sure that Cody wouldn't be able to win the legal battle at all, and there was no chance that he was getting 50 to 50 custody. The current season of Sister Wives takes viewers back to about this time last year. Unfortunately, this is about the time that everyone is growing increasingly concerned over COVID-19. Throughout the initial episodes of season 15, fans see how each of the wives addresses their coronavirus concern. As TV shows Ace previously reports, Janelle asks Cody to stay away from her home during this time. Ultimately, Janelle Brown chooses to make an informed decision about what is going to happen in her home because of growing COVID-19 concerns. So I've been watching the news and they're starting to talk about everybody staying home, but I have Garrison, who works with construction crews and stuff here in town. Explains Janelle. However, that's not all. I've got Gabriel, who is being careful associating with his friends, but I can't guarantee what that looks like yet, continues Janelle. Ultimately, she tells Cody to stay away. While tweeting about the recent Sister Wives episode, Cody and Janelle Brown get on the topic of adult children. It appears that Cody has some frustration about how Garrison, 22, and Gabriel, 20, chose to conduct themselves at the height of the coronavirus pandemic. Gabriel and Garrison both could have topped their social lives for me to return home, tweets the polygamist patriarch. However, he doesn't stop there. Cody Brown goes on to call out his son's behavior on Twitter. They say, unfair, but never change their behavior, he tweets. He goes on to call out his own wife. And Janelle Brown 117 didn't insist on it, concludes Cody. It's hard to believe that this is coming to light nearly a year after it happened, but maybe seeing the episode opened an old wound. It is easy to see how Janelle could be annoyed with Cody's tweet. However, it seems that she handles the situation with poise and grace. You know, I live with adult children, Janelle points out. I cannot simply, ground, them. And I sure as heck wasn't going to turn them out of the house in the middle of the pandemic, further explains Janelle. I was between a rock and a hard place, tweets the sister wife's mother. The couple's Twitter followers have something to say about this. Most of them agree about Garrison. This is because he is working. However, they can't seem to find much an excuse for Gabe. But Garrison was working, so him having to be out was understandable, writes a follower. Their thoughts on Gabe aren't too nice. I will say that y'all raised a monster in the other one, the follower says in conclusion. Another person even points out that Gabe is acting like it's no big deal. Sister wives viewers have a knack for making Cody Brown out to be the villain. One of the driving forces behind this is how he treats each wife differently. Specifically, it seems that things aren't getting better for him and Mary. All the while, it is perceived that he spends a disproportionate amount of time with Robin and her kids. His stance on dogs probably doesn't help either. All of this drama about dogs began while Sister Wives Cody Brown was tweeting along with the most recent episode of the show. Somehow, among all of the tweets about Cody explaining how he feels about Utah decriminalizing plural marriages, the topic of dogs is brought up. To get this whole thing rolling, Cody Brown replies to a follower on his Twitter. The remark reads as follows. Dogs get a lint brush. You're selfish. Dogs are not an inconvenience. While there are worse things that Cody has been called, was being called selfish warranted. In his response, Cody Brown explains his feelings towards dogs. If you have dog hair allergies then it really is, he writes in response to saying that dogs are an inconvenience. He further validates his stance by saying, it is a question of health and well-being, not selfish. All of this to say, that Cody Brown doesn't completely isolate himself from pet dogs. He explains that there are three dogs at Janelle's home. So I'm not without dogs, tweets Cody. I'm just uninterested in more at this time. We have had much dog drama, continues the TLC star. Surprisingly, there is someone that agrees with Cody Brown and his stance on dogs. One fan writes, agreed. It's better not to get one than to have one and be miserable. However, there are many more snide comments than nice comments in response to these tweets. One entertaining comment reads, dogs probably don't like Cody. Dogs are great judges of characters. 
which makes sense. Not only that, but Mary has all but said that she prefers the company of dogs over Cody's. Another comment brings out one of the nuances of the Browns' current living situation. Your family your rules. I can't say your house cause technically at this time it's the wives' houses. This begs the question, if the Browns were to live in one big house again, would Janelle have to rehome the dogs? Sunday's episode of Sister Wives revealed Cody Brown, saying he only sees Mary Brown, once in a blue moon. Cody has also said in the past that their relationship is in a, very dark place. However, despite their many problems, Mary says she is not giving up on her relationship with Cody. Mary and Cody Brown on Sister Wives When the new episode aired on TLC on Sunday, the plural family of Sister Wives were living in the COVID-19 pandemic. This obviously causes problems between the families, especially with Cody normally going from home to home. However, this episode did reveal that Cody is spending time with his three other wives, Christine, Janelle and Robin. On the other hand, he said he was only seeing his first wife, Mary, once in a blue moon. Despite the separation and distance between the two, Mary is committed to making their relationship work. Ahead of Sunday's season 15 premiere, Mary and the other wives opened up about their relationships with each other. They said how much their relationships with Cody have changed over the last 10 years since the series first premiered. Speaking to people in February, Mary, 50, said she thinks that all relationships have issues that they have to work through. She added that she thinks that's where they are right now. Mary said for her, personally, she is not one that is going to give up. Mary said she is just going to keep at it and that ebbs and flows in a relationship is kind of normal. She also added that she and Cody, 52, are in a place where they are just figuring out where they are and what is happening. The new season chronicles the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Obviously, this only deepens the sense of separation among the plural family. Cody, his four wives and their combined 18 children already live apart in four separate homes in Flagstaff, Arizona. Admittedly, for Cody and Mary, not seeing each other regularly is the norm. Mary said that while Cody went back and forth between the other wives' homes, he rarely comes to hers. The TLC reality star said what he typically does is visit Janelle, Christine and Robin. Mary added that she is just calling it like it is. Cody did acknowledge that he was only seeing Mary once in a blue moon. In fact, he said they have quit dating mainly because he has stopped pursuing his first wife. Cody's Plural Marriages Cody and Mary were first married in April 1990 and three years later welcomed sister wife Janelle into the family. This was followed in 1994 by Christine, and more recently, Robin joined the Brown family. Despite the fact that Cody was originally only legally married to Mary, she agreed to a divorce to allow him to wed Robin in 2014. This legal change allowed Robin's three children from her former marriage to the same benefits as the rest of Cody's kids. However, despite the divorce, Cody does consider himself spiritually married to all four of his wives. The strain in Cody's relationship with Mary isn't anything new. The pair entered into therapy in 2015 following Mary's catfishing scandal, so as to handle the emotional fallout. Despite this, Cody later admitted he no longer wanted intimacy with Mary. Seems in awe of her daughter Evie K. Maddie Brown Brush from Sister Wives seems thoroughly delighted with her daughter, Evie K. She seems like such a happy and smiley kid. TLC fans also love her to bits. Of course, all of the Sister Wives fans now know that Evie K faced problems with her Fatco syndrome. As they saw her birth progress on TLC, fans feel a special bond with her. However, her mom seems more than just happy with Evie. She sounds in awe. Maddie Brown Brush posts about Evie K on her social media. We reported that the Sister Wives star shared a cute photo of Axel and Evie K playing together. It came in mid-March, and she loved it. The two kids sat together looking at a storybook. Maddie said, I love that they are getting to the age where they play with each other. Certainly, she sounds very proud and happy for both of her children. Plus, the fact that Axel adjusted to being a brother so well must bring her a lot of relief. After all, it worries people when they bring in a new child. Sometimes, 
The older child feels a bit put out by the new interloper. Fans who don't follow Maddie Brown brush on social media, really only, become aware of Evie K's Fatco syndrome at the beginning of season 15. We noted that, in the Evie introduction episode, Maddie explains what is going on. Essentially, it boils down to a person, missing bones. Janelle Brown listed some of the issues that Evie faced. However, in real life, Evie already underwent a Boyd amputation and a fitting for a false foot. Now the cute little kid gets around fine and she explores her world with gusto. And on social media, fans love keeping up with her antics. On Wednesday, March 24th, Maddie Brown Brush took to Instagram and shared another photo of her daughter. She sat at a table and enjoyed a bite to eat. Her blue eyes matched her blue outfit. And as usual, she smiled that beautiful smile that fans become used to seeing. Proudly, her mom wrote, Do you ever just look at your kids and think, Wow. I made that. Probably, only a mom can relate. And some of those people responded in the comments section. Here's what some fans of Maddie Brown Brush said to her. All the time, and they are adults now. Every dang day. Yes, all the time. She is adorable, even now, and they are all grown with kids of their own. All the time, more now that my children are young adults. Other fans of Maddie Brown Brush who didn't yet produce their own kids said that Evie K looks precious and very cute. Like with everyone, the COVID-19 pandemic is taking its toll on the Sister Wives stars. However, Christine's daughter, truly, 10, is particularly feeling the strain. She is feeling frustrated and lonely because she cannot play with some of her siblings. Sister Wives in the time of COVID-19. In a preview for the March 28th episode of Sister Wives, Janelle Brown opens up about her children. She says Aurora is turning 18, Brianna is heading for 16 and Hunter is graduating from the Air Force Academy. However, all these milestones are being interrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Janelle says they can't do normal things and these things are big, big milestones. However, it is when Christine's family visits Robin's home for Aurora's 18th birthday that reality crept in. In the teaser, Christine's daughter, truly, asks to play with Ariella May and Solomon. However, her mother is forced to say no. She tells truly that she cannot play with her siblings because it isn't safe. Better if they were all together. Robin admits that a part of her thinks there would be major benefits if they were living under one roof during the pandemic. She says they would be hunkering down together and being careful together. She adds that they would come to an agreement on how to do this 100%. However, while Cody and Robin have thought of the idea, Christine cannot imagine that. In fact, she says she doesn't want to imagine it. There is a sad moment during the visit when Ariella May brings out a stuffed animal that Truly left behind the last time she visited. She holds it out to her, but Truly insists on staying socially distanced. At this moment, Christine admits that her young daughter is super, super lonely. Meanwhile, Ariella does eventually toss the toy to Truly, so she can take it home. Truly then asks again if she can play with Ariella and Solomon. This time it is Cody Brown that shuts down the idea. He tells his daughter, not yet, sweetheart. The only person who is traveling from house to house is me. Truly doesn't understand the situation. It is easier for older children to understand what is going on with the pandemic and what they need to do. However, it is difficult for a young girl like Truly to understand and she is understandably frustrated. Robin goes on to explain to her that they are just trying to be careful with each other. Actually, being apart from each other right now is the best way to love each other, to make sure we're not giving it to each other if any of us have it. Sister wives Janelle and Savannah Brown recently made a trip from Flagstaff, Arizona to North Carolina. Assumably, this trip is the first time in a long time that Janelle and Savannah get to see Maddie, Caleb, Axel, and Evie Brush. Maddie Brush regularly shares photos of her children participating in their day-to-day -day activities. This is truly a testament to how great of a mother she is. For example, while most children would love nothing more than to spend the day in front of the television, that doesn't seem to be the case for Axel and Evie. One example of the fun activities the Brush children do is having a snow day outside. 
A couple of months back, the kids spent time outside building a snowman and doing all the snow things, shares Maddie. This is because it doesn't snow very often where they live. Another example of how the brush kids spend their days is showcased as Evie running around. The toddler has mud on her face and all over the front of her shirt. The caption says it all. Sunshine, outdoors, mud pies and giggles. Best kind of Saturday, writes Maddie. Earlier this month, Maddie shares a photo on Instagram of Axel and Evie. Both toddlers are sitting on the floor. Sweet Evie looks on while Axel turns the pages of a book. The doting mother shares a sweet sentiment in the caption. I love that they are getting to the age where they play with each other. Shares Maddie. Nowadays, it seems like children always have fancy toys and electronics in their hands. However, that doesn't seem to be the case with brush kids. A few days later, sister wife's grandma, Janelle, shares an adorable photo of Evie. The little blonde-haired toddler is as content as can be in the Tupperware cabinet. With all the tops and dishes scattered around her, Evie isn't even bothered to look up at the camera. Janelle shares that this fascination runs in the family. The age-old fascination with the Tupperware cabinet. I played in it, my kids loved it and my grandkids now love it, writes sister wives Janelle Brown. Further proof that Janelle's kids don't need fancy toys. Earlier this week, TV shows Ace reports that Janelle and Savannah Brown travel from Flagstaff, Arizona to North Carolina to visit Maddie and the kids. This may be alarming to some since the global coronavirus pandemic is still ongoing. However, it appears that the pair are taking necessary safety precautions. While visiting Maddie, Caleb, and the grandkids in North Carolina, it appears that sister wives Janelle and Savannah Brown take some time to see the local sites. Janelle shares another selfie with Savannah. With ocean waves behind them, the mother-daughter duo looks very happy. Luckily for inquiring minds, Janelle lets everyone know what they're up to in the comments. She begins by describing the weather. It wasn't warm or even sunny but the beach is always wonderful, writes Janelle. Not only did they get to enjoy the beach, but they found some local food. Then of course we had to stop and have lunch at a restaurant advertising locally sourced seafood. Unfortunately, Janelle doesn't provide the name or location of the restaurant. The most location information provided from the caption is that the mother-daughter duo is at Emerald Isle, North Carolina. Which isn't fair when she goes on to share more about the restaurant. Bonus they make their hush puppies the way my grandma always used to. Travel shamed in the comments. While most of the comments are positive, there's at least one travel shamer among the mix. At the time of this writing, we are unable to locate the original comment, however, Janelle's response remains. Assumably, the original comment comes from the fact that neither Janelle nor Savannah are wearing a face mask in the photo she pops back with a response that proves why her fans love her. Yes we still wear masks and distance, observe common sense protocols, but things are pretty much open, writes the Sister Wives star. Unsurprisingly, one of Janelle's loyal fans is right there to hype her up in the comments section. The comment reads, Common sense protocols I freaking love you. Happy you're having a great time. Most of the other comments mirror the sentiment of how beautiful Emerald Isle and the rest of the Outer Banks of North Carolina are. On her mother's birthday, Sister Wives Mary Brown wrote a sweet message on her Instagram to her mom. Mary describes her mom as, the kindest and sweetest soul. Sadly, Mary takes to Instagram to share some devastating news from March 26. Mary Brown shares about the unexpected passing of a family member. Devastatingly, Mary shares that her mother passed away. Just 17 days after her 76th birthday. At this time, there are no details about what happened. On her Instagram, Mary shares some nondescript details. She left us suddenly, unexpected, and extremely way too soon and I literally don't know how I'm going to do the rest of my life without her, writes the heartbroken daughter. Sister Wives Mary Brown mirrors a lot of the sentiment from her mother's birthday post in her touching tribute. She describes her mother in a beautiful tribute. Mary describes her mom's life mission. This woman whose life mission was to give, to love, to serve, writes Mary. She goes. On to share more about her mother. This woman only know how to do for others. This woman who would drop everything for you. 
This woman who was strong, resilient, compassionate. This woman who was a safe place to land no matter where no matter when. A heartbroken daughter shares memories about her mother. Many of the TripAdvisor reviews of Mary's Bed and Breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, share a similar sentiment about Mary's mom, Bonnie. Much like Mary's touching birthday tribute to her mom, she uses every character she can to illustrate how great a woman her mother is. It's in this tribute that she shares something very relatable about her mother. Mary recounts how things would go, missing, during her childhood. Mary explains it's not like, toys like most mom's secret got rid of. Mary gives an example of how furniture would go missing from around the house. However, it was always for a good reason. Mary writes, because she knew a family who needed something. More than we did. More specifically, Mary shares, still have no idea where my childhood bed ended up. In conclusion, Mary shares something that may give her some solace during this difficult time. You are loved, you are missed, and I know you are so happy celebrating on the other side with dad, hugging your daughter and son who left us too soon, and reuniting with your parents, and getting to know your dad. Love them all, hug them all, and be happy. Our sympathies go out, to Mary Brown during this difficult time. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe our channel.